Lebanese Serenja, popularly known as Rasta, is hosting an exhibition of up to 600 artworks at the Museum Africa in Newtown. My exhibition, it opened up like last week, 2027. We've been preparing this uh, since last year because it was a bit blocked by the COVID regulations and stuff. So it's a big, big exhibition that uh, is going to turn maybe my life around because of the exposure that I'm having here in Museum Africa. Visitors will be greeted with a life-size clay sculpture of Rasta created by Dr. Lunga Gumede. Uh, the sculpture was done by um, Dr. Lunga Gumede all the way from Teben. I met the guy um, when we were touring for Zola music uh, and this sickness and stuff, fundraising, yes. So I met the guy there, he did a, a, a sculpture of Uzola. I've done so many sculptures of big prominent people. So uh, we talked about it. one day we were going to um, do a collaboration of some sort, maybe an exhibition and stuff. So I saw it fitting also. To let me highlight my friend and say, brother, can't we do this? Then he said, you know, well, yes, I'm in. So that uh, it's a part of collaboration when he, he did my a stature as well. So I'm so very happy also to be honored with a big stature life size like this. It means a lot to me. I like this stature. It's art. It can't be 100% because art value has got critics. Yeah, You have to practice each and every day art. Yeah. Rasta is known for his controversial paintings of celebrities and politicians, but he is seemingly unfazed by critics surrounding his work. Someone who inspired me a lot is my grandmother because uh, during school holidays we would come all the way from villages and plum trees in Myanmar, come and buy all those pieces of uh, fabrics, plain fabrics. Then I would to sketch them, maybe pick five zebras, yeah, then she would follow with colorful threads there. Then she would go back to the village and sell those uh, art pieces to other villagers. I saw the gap with this painting with people that don't treasure like with a painting when people pass on, uh, we always see a tombstone in the cemetery without maybe something that maybe family will keep. So I saw that gap, would let me do the paintings for the deceased. People, they take it sometimes personally with me, with Rasta, you can't be painting there because sometimes you miss paint and stuff. Because with painting also, it's a process. It's not a one thing off. So when we work on a painting, you have to go over and over again until it becomes nicer because sometimes when I'm in front of people the other eye can be bigger than the other so when you take a picture and post it people will be complaining on the other side Twitter saying you know it's not him or her so yeah I think now they've noticed that these paintings they will mean a lot in years to come in history of South Africa especially one of the sections of the exhibition is dedicated to 27 Nelson Mandela paintings who he started painting the first time in high school. Gomeda hopes to one day open an art academy to teach young children how to paint. Uh, I started painting Mandela, if I can go back a little bit, uh, when I was at school, uh, Mandela was released from uh, the prison. Then when I went home, I saw Mandela on the news there. So I sketched Mandela the following day. I went with the painting sketch to the school. So everyone, like even the headmaster, had to call me, who's this? I said, it's Mandela. So like, oh, we know you are an artist. We can't say no, it's not Mandela. So those paintings that are hanging there is 27 paintings just to symbolize the way, the years that he spent in the prison. Yeah, so I think they are so very iconic. If you can check them, they've got a store. I hope I will get some funds so that I can build my own art academy. That's my dream, which to have that uh, art school. Because each and every time when I go to my community, kids, if you can see kids, they're waiting for me. They, they ask me how to teach them, how to paint and stuff.